Yeah. Okay. We're back on Honest Character Overview. Last time we did Oath. Well, Order Oath. Today we're going to be doing Order Oath. Oh no. What? Order Oath last time. This time we're going to be doing Oath. So, what's, what's wrong with Oath? Well, people say he's the best character in the game. I can understand why people would think this. So let's look at his normals. Now, like, this character's normals are just atrocious. Like, look at these hitboxes. They don't even appear on the right frames sometimes. Because this game doesn't run on frames. I want to... Okay, so I'm, I'm, I want to reiterate this fact. I made this fact in a previous video, but... Um... Yeah, this game doesn't have frame data. It runs on, like, a time frame. So, why is this character good? He has crazy normals. Like, look at this range. <laughs> what? <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa. His projectiles is the thing that makes him busted. He can keep you away at like at all times. You can't do anything about this. You can only have one of these on the screen. But yeah, Oath basically can just wall you out with these projectiles and you can't do anything about it. You're forced to block here. Because if you jump, I can do this. And it's like, what what am I supposed to do? <coughs> so yeah, you just place down projectile, you run by you run behind the projectile, they block it. And here we go. Right? Same with the order situation. You just put them in the same loop forever. You grab them. Sword. High low or strike throw. You might be like, well. Isn't that unsafe on block? Very much is. Very much unsafe. I could get punched real hard right here. Right? Unless I have a sword. So. Now look at that. I'm safe. So, what you do? Grab them. Here's the thing. This character doesn't have high lows. Right? The only high that you can do. This means this is a low. But if it's a high, it would be, um, you know what? Blue. And it doesn't look like it's on. See, look, this is an overhead. This right here is an overhead. And it's super telegraphed. You gotta jump down and fall. With it. Like, what overhead do you have on this character? You can only trip people up with high lows. And then you got this, which is drag from the So you go over here. And this is not even covered by the sword. Oh. You don't even have high lows with this character. Right? You only have lows. And this is super predictable. You can just hold down back. And they can't do anything about this. And, guess what? There's the- Okay, so, there's this block button. You can option select and hold a like, smash grab, and it will just always be grabbed. So, what can you do about this? Nothing. If I'm doing this, your character can't do anything about this. Right? But, again, this character has this wall problem, where, like, he walls you out with all these normals and projectiles. You can't do anything about it. Like, at this situation, what do I do? Do I just go for, uh, do I just go for, like, a check, right? Go for a whiff punish? I go like this, and then, like, boom. Out of range. You can't do anything about that. You go for that, boom. Projectile. You're stuck. What part of this is negative? Boom. Counter hit. That's a frame trap. Right? Now, let's see. He blocks this. Guess what? I'm still plus. Right? He's trying, like, you can't mash out of this. But you can probably punch that. I think you can punch that. No, I can just block that. Right? And if I really wanted to, I want to be safe after this, boom, spend meter. And now, I just go for high lows. Without the high, so I just go for lows. And then strike throw. Boom, grab a sword. This is literally just a knowledge check character. Right? I can just forever pressure you with these moves. Right? You try to punish, I use meter. You're just forced to block. Right? The pressure is insane with this character. But ironically, it's also terrible because you don't have high-low mix. What do they do to balance this out? Nothing. Right? This character used to have an overhead. But... You know what? These guys just complain so much about characters instead of actually like trying to fix the game itself that there's just these problems in the game
this character entirely is a problem. Like, the best way you can balance this character is to give him normals like this. Right, where he punches you for your light, and then, like, you have, like, a knee for the medium, and then, like, a sword attack. Like, this is fine. Well, not really, but, you know, this could be, like, its own move. Why are hitboxes slanted? I'm still upset about this. Like, you're not supposed to make a slanted hitbox. This is why the game sucks. Like, look, see, if this wasn't a slanted hitbox, it's, like, it shouldn't even be hitting like this. Like, what? What's up with this game? Oh, yeah, so this is our hurt box right here. And this hurt box is, like, it stands, like, way out than it should. No wonder there's a problem with this game. Like, look, it, it shouldn't even be out this long. Like, if you throw out normals in this game, you get whiff punished, and it's so terrible. But this move is fully disjointed. This doesn't even make... What? What? Am I, am I tripping? Like, wh what? <coughs> there, like, there's... There's... Dude, the disjoint on this is unbelievable. The disjoint on this is unbelievable. And then, like, there's no, there's, there's crazy disjoint on this. Crazy disjoint on this. Right? There's no hurt box on starting, starting up the projectile. Nothing. But then the hurt box is delayed on this, and the disjoint on it is crazy. I'm working on a character, guys. Don't worry. I'm not gonna save this game because it's not even worth saving, but I just want to add something so people can be happy. And now we have this. This is like your worst normal ever. This doesn't even anti-air, right? How is there like a hurt box larger than the actual hitbox? That's crazy. Like in length, this this is definitely a shorter hit, hurt box. But like what you're covering. Oh my god. So bad. <coughs> then like this this hitbox right here is just atrocious what dude, the animations are terrible but like, dude this is so bad the hurt boxes are on the wrong frames but th there's no hurt box on this one there's no hurt box on this one it's fully disjointed you know what there should be rc Right, there should be Roman cancer. Because Red Burst is just a stupid idea. Because we got this. Like, what? Counter hit? We have a counter hit grab starter that goes into Red Burst, and then boom. They're dead. And then I get a full combo after this, right? That's that's nuts. This should even be a thing. But yeah, you grab them. Boom. And guess what? Boom! You have a full combo from this 61.5 damage. This is why I don't like this character. I don't like this character myself. I don't like this game. Well, you know what? It's all good, right? You guys might like it. That's all that matters. So, that's it, that's it for this honest character overview. I was going to go over optimal combos, but I don't even need to, right? Because, again, do you not see this? We already have... We already have this. Do I even need to go over optimals? 70 damage off that. Do I even need to go over optimals? Right? I don't even need to go over optimals. You get hit once by this character and you lose a crap ton of life. If they're level 3 and have burst. And guess what? You always have burst. Because if you green burst in this game, you get max burst. So, what's the point? What's the point of any of it? Right? You're, you're killing yourself by hitting this character. And you hit this character, they gain meter, they gain burst, you lose. That's this game. That's this character. I don't like this. But yeah, that's it for Honest Character Overview number two. Number three, coming out very shortly.